Hello there, I'm Mike and welcome to Disney Parks Addict. Today, we'll be taking a look at all the rides, shows and attractions in Tokyo Disney Sea at the Tokyo Disney Resort. Stick around until the end of the video for a little look at the exciting additions coming to the park in the future. Disney Sea opened in 2001 and became the second park at the Tokyo Disney Resort. With an overall nautical exploration theme, it opened with great success and holds the world record of the fastest theme park to reach over 10 million visitors at just 307 days. Over the years, it has continued to add and improve to the seven themed lands and in 2023, a whole new land, Fantasy Springs, will be added to the park. As you make your way through the Disney Sea Plaza and the park entrance, you will first enter into the Mediterranean Harbour, which is themed to an Italian port city complete with gondolas, shops, restaurants and even a few attractions. Also built into the architecture of the port is the Hotel Miracosta, which not only offers easy entrance into the park, but gives a more authentic feeling that it is a living, breathing city. The first attraction in this guide is actually the newest to be added to the park, Soaring Fantastic Flight. Opening in 2019 and with a complete new theme and vehicle design, this popular flying simulator ride is housed in the Museum of Fantastic Flight, where you join Camellia Falco on a special flight that travels all over the world, before ending back at the beautiful Disney Sea. With its amazing design and links to Society of Explorers and Adventurers, many are calling this the best version of the four different Soarin' attractions, and I find that hard to disagree. Next, you can head to the amazing walkthrough attraction, Fortress Explorations, which celebrates the golden age of exploration and explorers like Leonardo da Vinci and Marco Polo. This also serves as the headquarters of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers with the many different interactive exhibits and experiences, which can be enjoyed freely or with an accompanying game called the Leonardo Challenge. Heading back to the main part of the Mediterranean harbour, you can take a nice relaxing ride on the Venetian gondolas, as the gondoliers take you on a journey around the Palazzo Canals, while telling stories about the surrounding scenery. The final attraction in this first port of call is the Disney Sea Transit Steamer Line. This is a special water transportation system that links three of the lands within Disney Sea. You can travel between the Mediterranean Harbour, the American Waterfront, and the furthest land from the entrance, Lost River Delta. Not only is it a great way to navigate a park, but also just a fun, relaxing ride to take, especially at night. So let's follow the transit steamer line to the next land in Disney Sea, the American Waterfront. This port is split into two different areas, the bustling New York City set at the end of the industrial age and the quiet New England fishing village Cape Cod. The first attraction in American Waterfront is Toy Story Mania, the interactive 3D shooting gallery featuring characters from the Toy Story franchise. It has great interactivity, rewritability, and is genuinely enjoyable for adults and kids alike as you try to compete for the highest score. Next up is an attraction you won't be able to miss, Tower of Terror. This is unlike other versions of Tower of Terror due to its very unique design and storyline. You will need to enter Hotel Hightower, named after the infamous antique dealer Harrison Hightower III, who mysteriously disappeared due to the stolen idol Shiriki Utundu. This ride is also linked to the Society of Explorers and Adventures and features the usual drops, dark elements and great storylines line that the Tower of Terror is known for. For a more lighter attraction, you can head to the massive SS Columbia that, as well as having two dining locations and beautiful views of the park, it also houses Turtle Talk, an interactive show starring Crush, the sea turtle from the Finding Nemo films. The animated characters interact with the audience and is especially exciting for the younger guests. Just in front of the SS Columbia is the Dockside Stage that is currently performing the show Jamboree Mickey Let's Dance. This is a high energy dance party that is perfect for the younger guests to dance along to and can be enjoyed at this wonderful outdoor seated theatre. Another show can be found in the Broadway Music Theatre called Big Band Beat A Special Treat. This is a stylish review type show featuring swing jazz, fantastic dances by Disney characters and you won't believe who they have on the drums. 
you can hop on the big city vehicles that take you on a ride around the American waterfront. They include an open top town car, a delivery truck, police wagon and more as you take in the sights and sounds of this beautiful park. The final attraction in the American waterfront is another type of transportation, the Disney Sea Electric Railway. This is an elevated electric trolley car system that offers amazing views and conveniently transports guests to the next land in this guide, Port Discovery. Also known as the Tomorrowland of Tokyo Disney Sea, this futuristic marina is home to two attractions. First up is Nemo and Friends Sea Rider, a large scale motion simulator ride where guests board a fish shaped submarine and are shrunk to the size of a typical fish. They are then guided by Dory and Nemo as they go on an adventure through the ocean. This is a great attraction for all the family. The other attraction is Aquatopia, a trackless water ride that uses the same system as Pooh's Honey Hunt and Mystic Manor, except it uniquely travels through shallow water, giving the illusion of floating on top of the water. During the summer, the attraction is split into the regular dry version, or you can choose the wet version that adds water fountains and the chance to get soaked. We now go from the modern Port Discovery to the ancient civilization within the Lost River Delta. But before you cross the bridge into the main part of the port, you will first see the Hangar Stage that is currently running the Halloween Time With You show that celebrates all the past Halloween programs that have been performed at Tokyo Disneyland and Disney Sea over the years, along with special appearances from Mickey and Minnie. As you enter the main section of the Lost River Delta, you will see an ancient Mexican temple, which is home to Indiana Jones Adventure, Temple of the Crystal Skull. This is a dark ride that takes you on an adventure with Dr. Jones as he searches for the Fountain of Youth. But things don't go as planned due to the dangerous Crystal Skull, and you will rush to try to escape. This is an amazing attraction with lots of different scenes, music, and hidden Easter eggs from all the Indiana Jones movies. This is one not to be missed. The other attraction in the Lost River Delta is Raging Spirits, a roller coaster that travels in and around the jungle and a 5,000 year old temple. This is the only attraction at the Tokyo Disney Resort that features an inversion with its single vertical loop, which also makes it one of the most thrilling rides. As I mentioned before, you can also take the Disney Sea Transit steamer line from the Lost River Delta that will take you back to the Mediterranean Harbour near the entrance of the park. The next land is the Arabian Coast, which is mainly based on Agrabah, the city from the Disney classic Aladdin. The first attraction is Jasmine's Flying Carpets, which gives guests control of the magic carpet as you spin around Jasmine's garden. This was added in 2011 and is perfect for the younger guests. Next up is Sinbad's Storybook Voyage, the dark ride on water that follows the adventures of the infamous Sinbad and his lovable tiger sidekick Chandu. You'll encounter mermaids, pirates, a giant and some mischievous monkeys as you travel to different lands before returning home. This features over 150 audio animatronics as well as a beautiful soundtrack and is one you definitely don't want to miss. You have a chance to win some special prizes at the different fun games in Abu's Bazaar as you head towards the other side of the land. Here is where you can find the Caravan Carousel, a two-story carousel that lets you ride the traditional horses as well as various Arabian animals like camels, elephants and griffins. Keep an eye out as you may get the chance to ride the magic carpet or even genie. The final attraction in the Arabian Coast port is the Magic Lamp Theatre. In this fun 3D show, an untalented magician finds a magic lamp and uses the genie's wishes to become one of the most powerful magicians in the world. The magician's assistant and genie hatch a plan to make the magician use his final wish, therefore freeing genie. The live action show uses real magic tricks as well as 3D effects to bring genie to life. Moving back into the center of the park, the next port of call is Mermaid Lagoon, which is of course based on the Little Mermaid, and most of its attractions are located inside King Triton's Palace, which gives the illusion of being underwater. Let's begin with the two outdoor attractions, starting with Flounder's Flying Fish Coaster. This is a nice little steel family coaster that is themed to Ariel's best friend Flounder. You'll glide along with him and his flying fish entourage. 
Next is Scuttle Scooters, a caterpillar style ride that seats guests in the various hermit crabs as you spin around all under the watchful eye of Scuttle the Seagull. For the other attractions, you will need to enter Triton's Kingdom, starting with the Whirlpool, a spinning teacup ride where you will sit in cups made of kelp as you are spun around on this whirlwind adventure. Next is Ariel's Playground, which has lots of fun and interactive elements. It features Ariel's Grotto, filled with her collection of treasures, a shipwreck, Ursula's lair and dungeon, as well as statues that shoot water. This is a great place for the younger guests to play and explore. Another attraction that is fun for the younger guests is Jumpin' Jellyfish, a small parachute drop ride which allows the guests to board colourful jellyfish as you slowly descend back to the bottom of the sea. Next is a fantastic show in the Mermaid Lagoon Theatre called King Triton's Concert. All your favourite characters perform all the wonderful songs from the movie with the use of puppetry, special effects and live actors in this truly unique stage show. This is a very popular show so make sure to arrive early to avoid disappointment. The final attraction in the Mermaid Lagoon is Blowfish Balloon Race, a spinner attraction that lifts you up from the seabed in seashell gondolas as the fully inflated blowfish spin you around and round. Although this area is aimed at the younger guests, it's a great place to come and enjoy the cool AC or warm heaters in the summer and winter months as well as its fun underwater atmosphere. So we now come to the final land in this guide, Mysterious Island, which is based around the famous Jules Verne novel and is also home to the park's icon, Mount Prometheus, an active volcano that can be seen to burst with fire and smoke throughout the day. You can find two great attractions in this port, starting with 20,000 leagues under the sea. This is a dark ride that submerges guests into the deep depths within the Neptune submarines as you join Captain Nemo as volunteer crew. You'll see a coral reef, shipwrecks and an abundance of aquatic life before being attacked by a giant squid. You escape through a trench only to find the lost city of Atlantis. This is a great fully immersive attraction that is fun for all the family. The final attraction in Mysterious Island is the journey to the center of the earth. You will need to head into Captain Nemo's secret base inside the formidable Mount Prometheus. After wandering through cabins and taking special elevators down to the base station, you'll board steam-powered mine vehicles that uses the same slot car technology used on Test Track at Epcot. You'll head deep into the volcano and find a whole other world complete with all types of strange flora and fauna, including a not so friendly creature. This is another great unique dark ride that can't be missed. There is also some great exciting nighttime entertainment in the park including Disney Light the Night which is a modest five minute fireworks show accompanied with classic Disney music and songs. Now it's time to take a look at all the exciting additions coming to the park in the near future. On November 11th, 2022, Tokyo Disney Sea is debuting a brand new nighttime show called Believe Sea of Dreams, which will replace Fantasmic. It will be performed on the waters of the Mediterranean Harbor and looking at the concept artwork, it will be a worthy replacement. Also, to celebrate the resort's 40th anniversary next year, a whole new land will be coming to the park called Fantasy Springs. The themed port of call will be comprised of three distinct areas recreated the worlds of the Disney films Frozen, Tangled and Peter Pan, as well as a deluxe hotel with a one-of-a-kind special wing that will be the most luxurious accommodations ever at Tokyo Disney Resort. We can't wait for this exciting new addition coming to the park next year and we got a sneak peek and new exciting details including the four different attraction ride cars at the recent D23 Expo in Anaheim, California. So that wraps up all the attractions in Tokyo Disney see and unfortunately it is extremely difficult for international travelers to enter Japan at the moment. So I would suggest following our friend of the channel TDR Explorer. Chris runs the number one Tokyo Disney YouTube channel, awesome reviews and up to date information. I'll leave a link to his channel in the link down below. If you enjoyed the video then don't forget to hit the like button as it helps us to share it to more people and consider subscribing as we love to make videos about all the Disney and Universal parks around the world. 
world. And if you want to help support the channel, you can check out my new Patreon page in the link in the description. If you want to know more about the hotels at the Tokyo Disney Resort, then check out this handy hotel guide here. Or if you want to see more attractions at Tokyo Disneyland, check out this video here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Disney Parks Addict. Thank you.